if it's Tuesday, and it is. Oh my gosh, it is. It is. <laughs> Mickey's Already. hand is on the... Already. We wanted to show you something that we've already showed you, but we're revisiting something uh, from two different Tuesday shows uh, here from the Collector's Attic. We showed you a lot of the ca uh, cars that Al Scratch built. He Scratch right. built almost 100 cars uh. while he was alive, and N scale, O scale, G scale, F scale, but mostly in O scale. O scale. Hmm. And we showed you a lot of his O standard cars because Steve found them all in Al's bedroom after he passed away and kind of, we went through and inventoried and, and we showed that to you. Well, we've been sort of negotiating with Steve and saying we'd really love to display some of Al's cars. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not really quite sure how many, but some of them here in the garage. So uh, we've brought some of them here to Garage Mahal. And these are, these are again, cars that, that we showed you. And um, all boxed up. This is the way Al had them boxed up. That's kind of a neat way to box things with Velcro. He's got wow. the Velcro and padding here and whatnot. But um, the lids come off of these, so I want to... Yeah, this there. one is my favorite. This is the one that he won. Uh, I think this is the one that won the award for best wood car, even though it's made of plastic. Well, what we want to do, we also showed you guys on a Tuesday show these really neat uh, shot glass display cases that mm -hmm. we're using for displaying trains. And right. we've got one over here. This is not a shot glass. This is one actually intended for, for HO. Trains. And we've got that all loaded up with some of our brass engines. And then we showed you Doug Jolly's cars, the little HO N3. And Doug Jolly went through and explained to us what's <laughs> scratch built, what's brass, what's kits. And those are all in display on in one of the shot glass uh, places. And we said, but we think the shot glass display cases will work for O scale. Ah. And in doing a little measuring, I'm pretty sure it will. So we did some negotiating with Steve, brought these here, and uh, we're now going to attempt to display put those them. in the display case here. Right. Now you can see from the display case that uh, the top half of this is uh, Doug Jolly's HON3 cars. Mm -hmm. And we may have to do a little rearranging and we've got two of these shot glass display cases, one on each wall over here. But with the removable shelf, you can see here how every other shelf slides out. And that gives you enough height to fit O-scale cars. And there's just barely enough depth to fit most mm. O-scale cars. And some of these that we brought here from Steve's may or may not fit. Ugh, so that means we have to so get something deeper? We're experimenting. <laughs> well, if we can't display it in these cases, we really just can't display it. We'll have to improvise and do something completely different. But we also have a bunch of owl structures that we kind of want to display, and we will show you those at, at, at a point in time. Mm -hmm. But um, it's like, what do, you, what do you do with all this stuff? I mean, right. It's oh, stuff man. from railroads so that we used to have and stuff that Al built and never ran and never did anything with other than box up. And, mm -hmm. and um, but we want to properly display this. And so we wanted to show you how that same display case that we showed you before can work for O scale. Right. If, if the cars are, are narrow enough mm -hmm. and uh, show you how we're putting together these display cases, because we already showed you the display cases. This, this one uh, with the brass engines, as I say, is an actual HO uh, display case, and you can buy that on Amazon. And this other one uh, is supposed to be for shot glasses. It just works <laughs> out really well. For trains. And we did a show, and here's, uh, uh, here's a link to the show on, on that, so you can actually find it on Amazon and so on, because you'll never find it. Uh, if you didn't know that you're looking for a shot glass display case, right? But they make display cases for poker chips and all kinds of weird things. Mm. But as it turns out, the, the the ones for golf balls, and in this case for shot glasses, can work for trains. Sometimes better than the ones that they make <laughs> for trains, because like the 
the uh. the one the mahogany cases that we have over here for the brass engines are actually the shelves are a little close together right. and that big uh, coal-fired turbine is pressing against the shelf above it it doesn't mm. it's up against the glass and it's up against the shelves and it just barely fits, fits in, there. in there and then the centipede tenders it's slightly an angle because it's pressed up against the shelf above and it's yeah. holding it at a slight angle, but I, you know, I don't want mm. else to do with it. Yeah. So anyway, here we are putting together our display cases. So we wanted to share this with you, uh, putting Al's cars in the display case and showing you that that will actually work for yeah. some, <laughs> not all, but some <laughs> O-scale. Right. Anyway, if you haven't been over to the channel, pop on over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, here comes the blue button. Are we ready? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday as we get caught up on some more railroad projects. See you then. See ya. Bye-bye.